y'all. This is Lynn with Small Town Southern Wife. And today we're gonna to be making some canned apples that we got. And I thought I'd bring y'all along and show you how we're gonna can them. We don't want these apples to go to waste because they cost so much right now. Apples are very expensive. So I'm gonna can these so we can have them in the uh, months to come and have fresh canned apples to make like apple pies, fried apple pies or apples over ice cream or all kinds of stuff you can do with the canned apples. And so we're gonna can them so they don't just go to waste. And uh, I'll show y'all how I'm gonna do it. Okay, y'all, I got you where you can see them. Now, here's the apples where we've washed them all, got them in this great big dish pan, and they're all good and clean. And we're fixing to use this little utensil right here that Travis got and uh, core them with it. Then we're gonna peel them and cut them. We're gonna slice them. And right here, I've got my three gallons of water and I'm gonna, I've got one cup of lemon juice. And I'm gonna add that one cup of lemon juice to my three gallons of water. And then I'm gonna put me some ice in it. I've already got the ice sitting out. so I can get this water good and cold and crispy. I'm gonna have to set y'all down so I can get it. Hold on one second. Okay, now I got it where I can get a hold of this ice. I'm gonna put me a good bit in there. While we're cutting them up and they won't turn brown, adding that lemon juice to that water. Get all that, make that lemon juice mixed in that water good. And I've got my jars set out and got them ready to go. I've got my three gallons of water over here already measured out. And what I'm gonna add to that is two cups of sugar per gallon with one teaspoon of cinnamon to my three gallons of water. And that is to season your apples. Once you get them canned, they'll already be seasoned. So all you have to do is just open them up and make an apple pie with them. But right now we're going to get to cutting some of these apples up and I'll bring y'all back and show you as soon as I get a couple done. Okay, y'all, we finished peeling the apples and core them, and I didn't think I was ever going to get finished. That was a bigger job than I expected. And here they are, right here's where I peeled them, and Lord, I gotta hurry up and get these up. Devin have a heart attack if she walked in. She's from the city. She don't think we're supposed to throw stuff in the floor. But it was just as easy to do it that way. And there's the apples, how pretty they look. And they're not turning brown because we remember we put the lemon juice in that bucket of water to keep them from turning brown. And right here, we're fixing to add our sugar and cinnamon to our water to make our uh, mixture to pour in our apples when we can. But there's my mess I gotta get up. I'll bring y'all back in just a minute. 
While I'm cleaning this mess up, Travis just come through and told me to save him those cores out of those apples. He might make some apple brandy with those. So I guess I'll be saving those for him. But so far I did clean up the peelings. Okay, y'all, we're fixing to pour our sugar and our cinnamon in our three gallons of water. And I was gonna show y'all how we're doing it right here. The water's just now getting warm. Pretty, it's a, like a medium heat. You don't want it too hot because you gotta put it in your, you're gonna be putting it in your cool jars with your apples. And right here we have our two cups of sugar per gallon. So we got six cups of sugar right here and three tablespoons of cinnamon. I said it wrong the first time. It's one tablespoon of cinnamon per gallon. And we're gonna add all this mixture in our water. Enough, oh, it's just got to be warm enough so the it'll melt the sugar and the cinnamon will dissolve on its own with the heat too just takes it a little bit but let's lift that heat up and we're getting it almost ready to put in our jars with our apples okay y'all it's dissolved real good now. It's already warm, real warm. I'm gonna give it a taste test to see how it tastes. Oh yeah, that's good. That's gonna be like a fresh apple pie on Sunday morning from your granny. Okay, y'all, we got the jars over here and we got the apples ready and I'm gonna start packing the jars and putting my apples in it, getting it ready to get them filled up. I'm gonna use this measuring cup right here and get them in there. But that lemon juice has kept them from turning brown so bad. I'll fill up a couple more. And then I'll bring y'all back after I get the jars filled up and we start adding the syrup to them. But you wanna sort of pack them in there cause they're gonna, you're gonna lose a little bit of, when they start cooking down when you, canning them, they'll shrink just a little bit. So to make sure you get enough in there, pack it just a tiny bit. See? There's one drop. But let me get these filled up, then I'll bring you back and show them in a minute. everybody I got 18 jars quart jars of apples out of those apples that we just peeled and here's my my brine I'm gonna mix and put in it syrup it's more like a it's more like syrup flavored syrup and we're getting closer to the end ready to can them but I just wanted to bring y'all back and show y'all this picture how pretty they are
go up to that one inch head space from the top with your liquid. Bring y'all back when we get them all filled up. And y'all don't forget to wipe your rims real good so you'll get a good seal. Now we're going to put our lids and our rims on. Just finger tight. Use your magnet lifter to get your lid out of the boiling water to keep it good and sanitized. I'll bring you back when we get ready to put them in the canner. All right, here they are. We've got all the lids and rims on them. We got them ready to go in the canner. And the way we're going to do it, because we don't want to overcook them, we're going to put them in the canner and we're going to let them come to pressure. And as soon as it hits the pressure and it starts thumping, I'm going to cut them off and then let them sit in there till it cools down and the seal comes back down where you can open it. And then that's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna cook them too long because we don't wanna overcook them. But here's a good picture of them, how pretty they turned down. So let's get them in the canner and we'll bring you back when I get them out. Okay, y'all, the one on that far end, the red thing just popped up. That means the pressure will start thumping in just a minute. Maybe a few minutes, but it'll just, they're both, it'll get there. There goes the one on the end. The little red thing just popped up. It beat the one in the middle. Oh, 
there goes one in the middle. It just popped up. So now when those start thumping, I'll cut them off. Okay, everybody, here's our apples after we got them out of the canner. They're still hot. Travis just helped me get them out because they're very hot. They're done and they're sealing. And I believe this is going to be enough apples to last us for a year. We can have a fried apple pies sometimes on the weekend. But there you go. Canned apples. And thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to grow our channel.